A Vitviana, esposa do Ramon, se pronunciou após as críticas de parte do público ao Dino, mandou um recado e fez um pedido. O Jorlan foi convidado para participar de um live com o Ramon e o Correio explicou o real motivo dele não ter participado. O maior canal de fisiculturismo da gringa deu a sua opinião sobre a derrota do Ramon e fez alguns comentários sobre a performance do Dino. A derrota do Ramon para o Wesley Vissas pegou muita gente de surpresa. O Ramon era o atual campeão do Arnold Classic Ohio e vinha como franco favorito para a vitória, já que já havia vencido mais de uma vez praticamente todos os rivais que estavam ali no palco. Porém, a coisa não saiu como esperado e o grande campeão foi o Vissas. Após isso, o público cobrou bastante o Dino pelo fato dele ter tirado muito tempo de férias e fazer uma preparação de só seis semanas. Inclusive, postamos aqui no canal o pronunciamento dele, caso você ainda não tinha visto, onde lá ele deixa claro que isso foi um erro dele e que deveria ter começado antes. Lá ele também esclarece alguns detalhes sobre a preparação e coisas que ainda não tinha falado, então vale a pena dar uma olhada depois desse vídeo. E após toda essa repercussão, a Vit Viana, esposa do Ramondino, se pronunciou através das suas redes sociais escrevendo o seguinte. Impressionante a forma como algumas pessoas comentam e julgam nos comentários. Ser atleta é isso, um dia você perde, o outro você ganha. Quanto já subir e fizeram preparação para entender isso na pele. O nível de maturidade muscular, preparação, treinamentos, dieta, pressão. Estamos falando dos melhores do mundo. Só quem é atleta ou já foi entende o peso de uma derrota e ainda ter que usar isso como combustível para a próxima preparação. É fácil apoiar e ser fã só nas vitórias. Pois é, a Vite deixou claro o seu desejo de que os fãs também apoiem o Ramon no momento da derrota. Ela é o braço direito do Dino em vários aspectos, e com certeza vai ajudar ele a dar a volta por cima e chegar com tudo para o Olímpia. Mas ainda falando sobre o Dino, o Jorlan fez um desabafo que deu muito o que falar. E após isso, o público cobrou bastante que o Jorlan participasse da live com o Ramon, Correia, Isa e Pacho, onde foi feito o pronunciamento do Ramon e o pedido de desculpas. E o Correia respondeu o pedido em seus stories. Eu vi que teve uma galera aí que tava pedindo a presença do Jorlan na live. Eu liguei pro Jorlan, chamei ele, pedi para ele participar com a gente, mas ele tinha acabado de chegar em Balneário Camboriú, ele tá fazendo uma presença lá no campeonato Ross Power. Então não tinha como ele estar tá junto com a gente, mas eu queria, eu queria que ele tivesse ali, eu queria que ele desse a opinião dele ali, porque eu não assisti exatamente tudo que ele falou, mas eu já conheço o Jorlan e eu sei que ele fala isso quando ele realmente acredita é, que ele cobra das pessoas que realmente ele acredita que tem a entregar. Então a indignação dele demonstra o quanto ele gostaria que o Ramon tivesse vencido e o quanto ele acredita que o Ramon pode entregar. Então por essa razão eu gostaria muito que ele estivesse ali, mas infelizmente não aconteceu. Tá bom? Só passando aqui para avisar a galera que estava me pedindo o Jorlan aí. Pois é, o público é bastante mais aparições do Jolan na Max. Comenta a sua opinião sobre tudo isso aqui embaixo. E quem também não podia deixar de falar da vitória do Vissers em cima do Ramondino foi o Nick, do maior canal de fisiculturismo do mundo. Ele deu seu feedback sobre a competição e opinou sobre o que viu por lá. All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power, and I'm really excited to make this video. The 2024 Arnold Classic Ohio Classic Physique Finals just wrapped up. And man, this morning at pre-judging... I felt like we all kind of had this feeling that there was something special in the air when we saw Wesley Vissers on stage, when we saw him getting the comparisons that for so long we wanted to see him get. I know so many of you guys watching, like me, have been fans of Wesley for a very long time. Over five years ago on this channel, I held a competition called the Mr. Golden Era, where I would let all the subscribers vote on who they felt had the most classic physique that best represented what they felt was the golden era standard physique. And the very first winner of that competition that I held on this channel was Wesley Vissers over five years ago. And now today, he's the new winner of the Arnold Classic, pulling off probably the biggest upset that we've seen in a very long time in classic physique, beating the Olympia runner-up. Bear in mind, at the Olympia, Wesley was seventh, So he was five placings behind Ramon. That's how much Wesley improved here. I don't think it's necessarily that Ramon looked that much worse. I think Wesley like peaked here. I think this is the all-time best that we've ever seen from Wesley. And he really deserved this. I know, you know, at prejudging, I think a lot of us felt it. A lot of us felt this feeling like, yeah, it's unlikely because Ramon is You know, he's runner-up. He's been at the top for so long. He won last year's Arnold Classic. He's the defending champion. It seems like they would give it, Ramon, give it to Ramon, but we called it dead on after prejudging. In the prejudging video, it seemed pretty clear. In, in the prejudging video, we said, I said, uh, Wesley's going to win. Ramon in second, Urs in third, Breon in fourth, 
and that's the exact results that we got here. So I think the prejudging what we saw there was was very telling. It was very clear what was going to happen at that prejudging. I could not be happier for Wesley Vissers. This is, you know, obviously a huge upset. And I want to say I know the Brazilian fans are going to be on Wesley's ass. I know that they're not going to be stoked about this. I know that this is going to be controversial. I know that there's going to be fans that are upset about this. But as I rewatch this video that we're watching right now, the top two comparison from prejudging, and I'll show you the top two from finals because I do think it's fair to show that because I think that Ramon tightened up at finals and I think towards the end of finals, Wesley was fading and that gap between Wesley and Ramon was really closing and I think it got a lot closer at finals but the prejudging video that we're watching right now I think it was crystal clear that Wesley was the deserving winner so I wanted to say that to the fans that think this is a controversial call they wanted Ramon to win if you look at this prejudging video you you can't deny how good Wesley looks here from head to toe the best conditioning we've probably ever seen from Wesley and definitely at prejudging, I think he was in better shape than Ramon. He's a big guy. He's a tall guy. He's a guy that I think, if he looks like this at the Olympia, I think he can push Chris more than Ramon could. He's more on par with Chris Bumstead in terms of stature and muscle and size and height. He's got those same strengths that Chris continues to beat some of these shorter guys using those strengths. I think Wesley versus Chris Bumstead in the next couple of years as Wesley continues to improve, and I think that's dependent also on how long Chris continues to compete, maybe only one or two more Olympias for Chris, but then we'll probably get to see Wesley and Ramon going head-to-head -head for the title when Chris is gone, and I'm just, I could not be happier for Wesley. I know that this is something that is probably for him, this is probably bigger for him than winning the Olympia. I know that Arnold is a huge... Um, just a huge idol of his and it's part of his nickname he uses that oak part of the austrian oak nickname he emulates all of arnold's famous poses he does a really good job of the mantis pose the twisting back double bicep you see him do the twisting front double bicep like arnold did so i know this is a huge moment for wesley and i think going forward as we see the olympia change for classic physique i think chris will probably only go for another year or two and I think Wesley and Ramon are going to be the guys battling it out for the win when Chris is gone. And I think I really, I'm really excited to see Chris and Wesley in the same call out going head to head right next to each other. Two guys of a similar stature. If Wesley's in this conditioning, it's going to be a hell of a battle. And I'm, I'm excited to see the landscape of classic physique changing a little bit. Not that I don't like Ramon. I really like Ramon's physique, but this is just such a feel good, cool moment. And it's just, it's fun to see a result that we didn't expect. And I think as we go into bodybuilding tomorrow, you've got this vibe in the air that we also had at the Olympia when we saw the big 212 upset, Keon winning 212 and beating Sean Clarita. Now we've got this vibe going into bodybuilding. Maybe someone new could win. And at the Olympia, someone new did win when we had that vibe in the air. First Keon, then Derek. And now this year, I think you're going to have a new Arnold Classic champion. The defending champion is Samson. And I think for the first time ever, it might be Hottie Chupin winning the Arnold Classic Ohio. But I'm going to show you guys also the clip. So this is the clip from the end of finals uh, for Classic Physique, the final top two comparison between Ramon and Wesley. And again, I think that they really worked these guys hard, and I noticed they didn't give them a break. They had the call out with like the other guys in the call out, and then they just left Ramon and Wesley there and then kept running them through poses. They never really got a break, and I did feel that Wesley was starting to fade. I felt like he didn't have enough um, oil on, like he wasn't, his shine was going away. His skin was just absorbing that shine. And you could see a little bit more detail in Ramon. Ramon was getting harder, getting tighter. He had a better shine on and Wesley was kind of fading a little bit. He was losing his shine. And I think it was getting really close towards the end. And at the end of finals, I started to have my doubts and they were saying on that live broadcast, you know, I think they, they were saying, the, the commentators were saying they think Ramon's got it. And I was still thinking, but I, I think Wesley could still pull it off. And I started to doubt it when I heard those commentators saying that. But sure enough, Wesley pulled through and came out on top. I mean, this is, this is exciting, man. And trust me, I'm very, very eager to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. I know there's going to be 
a mixed reaction. I know there's going to be a lot of Brazilian fans, like I said, upset. But I think, I think at the end of the day, Wesley deserves his credit here. Wesley looked phenomenal. He brought his all-time best. I don't think Ramon brought his all-time best. And I don't think that Ramon looked better than the Olympia. So I'm happy to see Wesley, a guy that brought it, a guy that improved, a guy that peaked, a guy that hit his all-time best, was finally rewarded with not only the good comparisons – 